Hospitals are seeing fewer people admitted for respiratory illnesses compared to earlier this year. Today, we'll get an update on the number of cases of flu, COVID, and RSV in the state. WRO's Laura Levine joins us live from UNC Rex to explain how the numbers have been trending recently. Laura, good morning. Renee, good morning. Today we will get better insight from the state on how many people across the state are fighting these illnesses. We did check in with local hospitals like UNC Health here behind me, where we are learning that fewer people are being admitted for these illnesses. So take a look at your screen here. Uh, as of today, uh, Duke Health still had 45 COVID patients, the same number as two weeks ago. But flu hospitalizations went down 67 percent, with 21 patients now being treated. UNC Health saw decreases decreases across all three respiratory illnesses. The biggest was in flu with a 70 percent drop in cases and only eight patients at the start of this week. Wake Med only reported a slight increase in RSV cases with just two additional patients hospitalized over the past two weeks. However, Monday was the highest for flu cases in a single day within the past week with 60 positive flu tests. And the highest day for COVID tests within the past week was last Friday with 70. So we We'll get a better idea of uh, how these illnesses are looking, how these cases are looking across the state when the DHHS release that data this afternoon. Laura Levine, WRL News, we're live in Raleigh.